The Northampton community is one that is really unique and vibrant. We have a really busy downtown. We're very busy during the day with a lot of active businesses and at night we have a lot of restaurants and nightclubs so it's a it's a busy place. But even beyond what makes the the community so fantastic is the police department within it and all the great things that this department has done and continues to do. Uh, we are an agency that's accredited by the Massachusetts Police Accreditation Commission and we're sure that what we're doing out on the street is reflective of best practice in the field. In addition to working in a great city, our police facility that we're in right now was built in 2012. It's right in the downtown area. It's a state-of-the-art facility. We're able to serve all of our needs that you might think of for patrol. But we also have uh, a gym downstairs that all of our staff uh, makes good use of. We have a lot of other things within the station that make it an even better building to be working out of. And in addition to that, you know, we have a lot of specialty assignments and opportunities within the police department. So if someone comes in and has an interest in, in community outreach or has an interest in defensive tactics or firearms, we have a lot of different opportunities for new people coming in that once they become a patrol officer and want to explore more things, you can find new challenges in your career if you stay with us. Our department does not have a written exam. We have a, a open enrollment application process and we are always accepting applications. We will um, review the applicants, select the most qualified ones, move on from there to an interview panel. Um, and once someone is selected to actually move on from there in the process, they would be going through an extensive background investigation. They would then be in contact with a field training supervisor who would prepare them for the upcoming academy. Um, that would include an orientation day, uh, outfitting of gear, as well as giving them some insight as to what the academy is going to hold in store for them. The Western Mass Regional Academy is located in Springfield. It's currently 26 weeks long. When they're there, they're going to go through physical training, they're going to go through defensive tactics training, as well as a, a, a lot of classroom hours dealing with all sorts of police work. Um, after the 26 weeks is complete and they satisfactorily complete that, that's when they would be assigned to our field training program. The field training program is three months long. During this time, the recruits are paired up with veteran field training officers who have been specially trained to uh, perform this task and training our new recruits and making sure they're squared away to get out onto the road on solo patrol. During the first phase of training, the FTO or the field training officer performs most of the, or the majority of the tasks and the recruit is more or less following along and shadowing that officer. When they progress on to phase two, they're paired up with a, a different officer to get a different perspective on law enforcement and policing. At this point, the recruit begins to take on more of the tasks and the FTO begins to step back. Uh, if they progress past here, they go on to the third phase where the recruit is now doing the majority of the work and the FTO is backing off and just basically evaluating at that point. We feel that the field training program is a, a very important part of the actual training of new employees because even though they spend several months in the police academy learning things in textbooks and doing some role playing in the academy, to actually see the function of the police officer on the street in real life sometimes is completely different. And this part of the process really allows us to pair up the new officers with more seasoned officers to make sure that they can perform the task. This process really helps um, make sure our, our traditions are, are being passed down in that manner. Northampton, it's right in the center of the Pioneer Valley of Western Mass. You have Interstate 91, you've got Route 9, Route 5, Route 10, they all meet here in Northampton. And that's what keeps us busy, is that everything meets here, and everybody wants to come here. There's art, museums, galleries, shopping, tons of restaurants, great food. There's a lot of different experiences you can have here. There's also a lot of opportunity for advancement and different professional development. You can get into different types of specific aspects of law enforcement if you want to. The Northampton Police Department is comprised of officers from all walks of life who have lots of different backgrounds, educational backgrounds, work backgrounds. We're looking for the best candidate and that best candidate may have a degree in criminal justice or they may have a degree in English or psychology or business or anthropology or whatever else it may be. So we're looking for people who understand the complexities of what police officers are dealing with today and the challenges that we're facing. We're looking for officers who are dedicated, professional, uh, innovative, creative, uh, and who want to be part of a fantastic team. We're looking for people who are open-minded. People who think outside the box to solve problems, because that's essentially what we do, is we're problem solvers. We like people with diverse backgrounds. We definitely want hard workers. We want people that are willing to learn. And we want officers that are going to be proactive once they 
reach the street. Come to our station, do a ride along, participate in our Citizen Police Academy, get to know us a little bit so we can get to know you and see if you think Northampton might be a good fit for you.